I gave out my info on the dark web <laughs> the day after I posted the video. I wake up and get a call from this like bank or whatever that someone opened an account. I gave my IP address to a Pakistani hacker last week. Um, <laughs> you just hacked some dude's Netflix? Yes, I don't know who this guy is. <laughs> you must have really pissed somebody off. You have likely been involved in multiple breaches. I'm by identity completely. I don't want to be recognized because I have some, some issues. A few months ago, I visited the dark web, and while I was there, I intentionally planted information to see just how dangerous the dark web is. This sent us to a lot of people. My phone number, credit card information, V-Bucks. Now, I took precaution before doing this, and all the information I gave out was from my fake identity, Jeff Jeff. My name's Jeff. Since the recording of that video, I've had some very serious information leaks. They're fishing around for accounts or what? They actually opened the account. They were passing bad checks on the account. I gotta admit something to you guys. I did not use a VPN when I recorded that video. <gasps> Zero VPN was used. And don't worry, this is not sponsored by VPN. <laughs> but what does that actually mean? How dangerous is the dark web without a VPN? If you're not using VPN, it means that you are, you are exposed to an invasion in this world. My heart was racing when I found out what information was leaked to someone. Wait, so you're saying I need to contact the FBI? But was it my own negligence that got my information leaked? Was it maybe, I don't know, 10,000 viruses? Or is it unrelated to this entire was there anything personal at all on that laptop? No. I would never take that as a coincidence. The day after, man. <laughs> that lines up too well. I've recreated the exact setup I had while I was visiting the dark web. So I had to know, what can a hacker do? And were the precautions I took enough? You can give your address to me. And I paid a hacker to hack me. The dark web, yes, it's very dangerous. It's very, very dangerous. This is a hacker. You will never know exactly that you are, you are compromised. I'm not allowed to tell you his name, nor his background, which would validate his title of hacker. Hacking is like fun, fun thing. I mean, nowadays, I mean, even students of really early age, I mean, the, the stuff is available all over the place. All I can tell you is that he's from Pakistan and he hacked some guy's Netflix in about 10 seconds. It's not about, I mean, Netflix cooking, it's about how you steal the cookie. And after asking just a few questions, I knew that this guy was the real deal. So someone will just do a random scan. What do you mean by that? So what happens? We find an IP, like say, your IP, you'll find a lot of commands on the dark web. Okay, you just need to copy the command, then you just replace the IP address in that, and they shoot it on your console. Uh, then what are they able to do from that point with just my IP address? I mean, see, it depends basically. What kind of vulnerabilities is there? If you can get inside the router, it's really dangerous. It's really dangerous. Like, I mean, he's inside your network. If it is connected there, then from router, they, he, he can just go inside and accept the data. So if someone had my IP address, they found a vulnerability in the network, they could go into all the systems attached to the network and access all of the data on those devices, essentially. So they will be able to scan your Windows if there is a vulnerability inside your Windows machine. So that, that's how it, it works. But to explain why I'm about to give a Pakistani hacker more of my personal information, I need to explain to you how this journey for peace of mind began. Elephant in the room, downloaded 10,000 viruses. How likely is it, do you think? that? <laughs> <laughs> this is Kit Boga, whose social security number is 42069 and who is without a doubt the most knowledgeable person I know on how to not get your information stolen. That's what I always tell the scammers. <laughs> the guy talks to scammers all day. Do not read him that! Do not read him that! Oh, go Was there anything personal at all on that laptop? No. Mm -mm. It was, I wiped Nothing. clean. And your network was was separated Separate in some network, way. Yeah. I tend to be under the impression that a lot of these things come from like data breaches. Because of his experience, I requested his help in understanding what could have happened with this list of my personal information that got leaked. It could have been something like some of your information was in a breach, some people or somewhat automated systems are going through and they're just trying. The simple fact is most of you watching this have had your information leaked to the public via a hack on a large corporate server. Like I don't want to use fear and tell people like, bro, 
everyone's out to get you. But the rea the reality for sure is that you have likely been involved in multiple breaches. Yeah. And someone is eventually going to try to use that information against you. And that in itself can be kind of nerve wracking. But where it gets really scary is what if the person who got my information got it from hacking me directly? I'm not trying to scare you. But if it's someone who was actively going after you, yeah. like they want to get Mr. Homeless, right? Uh -huh. They want to go after basically homeless. That's a different level of like a threat. This is what really set me on this journey. But again, it, it feels to me like... Coincidence? So you're saying... Either somebody's really ticked and they're really coming after me, or it's a coincidence that it was the day after this video. Dude, I don't think it's a coincidence, man. My next stop on this quest for wisdom was with Mudahar from Some Ordinary Game. I don't know how much you handed out your socials. Did you ever give it to like AT&T or some sh Like any ISP mm -hmm. provider? <laughs> Probably, man. <laughs> yeah. An expert on all things dark web. You know, I've been watching your channel for a while. You have a lot of experience with like dark web stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I was working on right now, actually. Oh, no. Yeah. This guy basically lives inside a virtual machine. Like, on the dark web, VPN, very important. Like, I always route through a VPN, then okay. the core browser. I'm not using a VPN. The other thing is, just don't run it on a host OS, period. Like, just download virtual boxers. I'm running it on the host OS. I don't know what they could be doing, what kind of scripts could be running. Usually, the Tor browser is really good and really locked down. But, again, without, like opening up a specific website and seeing what it's doing yeah, exactly yeah. it's so hard to tell so this is exactly what my setup looked like when i recorded this dark web video the laptop is plugged into the wall for power and the hdmi port from the laptop is connected to my capture card on my main system i wasn't super worried about this because there's not really a standard for data transfer over an hdmi cable they're just media transfer and on the laptop i'm using a browser called tor which is specifically for browsing the dark web and the network is this android phone's hotspot I'm trying to like so your phone is connected to the data right like yes. the, the mm -hmm. 5g lt and everything mm -hmm. and the laptop is the only thing connected to that hotspot. Your Android phone, you're just connected through the tethering, right? Like there's no plug USB tethering or anything? Um. <clears throat> Hello? Yo, basically homeless? Yeah, what's up? <laughs> what the? Here's the thing that kept my eyes open at night. The phone was plugged into my main PC via USB no for screen sharing. I don't like this, man. For the recording, man. For the recording. They might have your public IP, which then they can geolocate to your address. They get information like a username. My last stop before going nuclear was with John from Tenfold Security. I believe that connection across a cellular network is far more secure than if you're connecting to like a public Wi-Fi. After giving him the exact situation, only system A is connected to the hotspot. System B is only connected via USB. It's just hard, especially once you're mixing the cellular and then one of the systems is directly connected with a USB. And there, there might honestly, there might not be a path there. After what I had heard from everybody up until this point, it all came down to, well, it depends. Well, it depends. And it depends. It depends. It depends. Even if you're using Onion Router, right, and you visit the dark web, if you're not using a VPN behind that, then your IP yes, address is exposed. Yes, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. So the only way to know what happened that night is to get the most credible hacker I could find on the face of the planet. So you're saying that if someone even sends you an email that's malicious, you don't even have to open the email? And then again, you will be exposed, yes? You don't need to open that. If I were to give you my IP address, what's the, what do you think the worst you, that you could do is? And give him exactly what a hacker could have had that very night. Okay. If you want to give me your IP address, I found the vulnerability, which is exploitable. I will exploit it, I'll be inside your network, and then the rest is, I mean, it's just history. You can, you can give your IP address to me. Okay. 174-242-222. While I was being hacked, I ran a full system scan with the hacker's ultimate antivirus. So what, do you have a free one that you'd recommend? I had a sense that he was being very honest with me. I can share the paid one with you if you want. I scanned all 50 terabytes of my data. The results showed that there was no malicious code on my system. So everybody is trying to, to do hacking these days. And the hacker? I have scanned 
65,535 ports, this is the results. Was unable to get inside my network. Yeah. They are all in ignored state. It means that you are only using this connection to connect to the internet. There is nothing incoming. Yeah. You are not using any any service that, that can get your uh, PCs or your internet to in, incoming inside. That's a... Uh... That's cool. That's good to hear. <laughs> and although I was overjoyed to find out that my precautions were enough to protect against an IP leak, this deep sense of relief was overshadowed by one other thing. It shouldn't happen unless you're downloading some program from them and actually running it, which at that point, you know, anything's fair game. 